going to be good. All right. Can you go back and film it? So uh, I'm going to wear this machine right here. Hi, so who are you? I'm George Leeming. I'm from Lenovo. And uh, I see uh, like an AR world or something here. Is this AR? Yeah, this is AR. So this is the new game that we're launching with uh, Disney. It's called Marvel Dimension of Heroes, and it is available tomorrow. And uh, so what do I control here? So in this demo, you're going to play Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, and you're going to be fighting off uh, alien invaders. So let me get you set up. Do I go in back? Or... Back now. So trigger, trigger yeah. for back. Oh, and you're, you're firing. So start trigger, trigger to shoot. So I'm shooting at these. Do you see what I'm what I'm doing? Yeah, I can see. Is it firing okay? Yeah. So there's like a whole world going on here, and it's overlaid on this. Yeah. So you can see it inside your helmet, right? So you've got yeah. like enemies coming in, and you've got your guns in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. And you can also you use your shield. You've got middle finger shield. Oh, I can shield. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So what's inside here? Are uh, your Micro displays here? Uh, so it's, it's powered by a smartphone. So you put your yeah. smartphone inside. And Which then you phone have do you a, have in now? Uh, we are using the Motorola Z6 for this. Nice. So you just put a phone, Android or iOS? It can be either. So you have to download the app to your phone. Can we open it? Yeah, sure. So if you want to look inside. Yeah. Uh, Let me hold this for one second. Yeah. Okay. So phone goes in here. Uh, and then you connect it, uh, USB-C or micro USB or whatever, uh, connects to the headset, and then inside the headset you have cameras uh, and you have a mirroring system. So it's powered by your smartphone, but there's also some uh, you know, more complicated uh, hardware involved. Then on the floor here you have the tracking beacon. Yeah. So that's something that enables you to yeah. uh, basically track your position. And then the two controllers here, we call these the universal controllers. Yeah. Uh, and you have one in each hand for whatever you're doing, shooting or, or that kind of thing. So. Uh this is tracking from the camera or from where? Yeah, the so phones? the cameras in here will track the controllers and then they also use this beacon as a, a way of tracking the overall environment. Does it connect to the phone by uh, Type-C or, or, or Lightning? Yeah, so inside the box you get three adapters. You get Lightning, uh, USB-C and micro USB. That's really cool. So there's data going on to the phone. So you have the app running. So you can see maybe uh, inside here. This is running on your phone screen. So this is all the app inside the phone that is, is, is operating. And then the output is split through the mirrors because it's stereoscopic, right? Yeah. Uh, and then with the beacon and the controllers, that's the whole sort of setup. And this been for sale already since last year? or is No, it this one? is so the hardware is similar to the product that we had uh, last year, which was the Jedi Challenges. That was the Star Wars game. Uh, and now this is a new app. So you're basically getting a whole new game. Uh, people who buy this will also be able to download the Star Wars app, so they'll actually get two games for the price of one. Is this better than last year's version, or is it exactly the same? Hardware is, is the same. The same? Yeah. But it has cameras in there that communicate through that cable? Or is it using the phone's camera? It's using... Uh, I think it's coming through the headset and not the phone camera. So there's some, some way to recognize everything? And uh, so far, just two games. Could it be more? In the future, that might be, but right now, just two. So it's the Star Wars game and then the Marvel game that we've just announced. Any chance this could work out in the streets? You can be the augmented street or not? Really? Yeah, you can play it. I mean, anywhere you're happy putting the beacon down and, and, and playing, you can play. It works best in dark environments, though, because you get the better contrast. So that's the main thing to watch out for.